Hey guys, Brett Weiss here. Thank you so much for tuning in. Welcome to another gameplay video. Playing Centipede Infestation today for the Nintendo Wii. The game was also produced for the DS. The game came out in 2011. And it is inspired by Centipede, the 1981 arcade classic. Which happens to be my wife's favorite arcade and console game of all time. The classic trackball shooter Centipede is a fantastic game. Centipede Infestation, created in 2011, obviously much more, much less well known, but a fun game. It turns the fixed screen shooter Centipede into a top down running gun. Pretty fun with uh, Robotron style controls. You move your character Max with the left stick and you shoot and aim with the right stick. And I'm playing the hard difficulty level because I found normal to be far too easy. So there is some level of challenge playing the difficult mode, as the name implies. And you do get extra weapons, as you see there top left, and they map to buttons on your controller. And I'm gonna got rapid fire there, rapid fire machine gun. And it is timed, as you can see, the little red mark goes along. Boom, that weapon is over. And it looks like I've got a flamethrower there, as you can see the red on the top left, and a freeze weapon. I'll use those momentarily. And you shoot ants and aphids and all kinds of grubs, scorpions, all kinds of creatures. And you see those towers there? They help you shoot the enemies. Pretty small play field for this first level. Scroll some, but not a ton. Not terribly difficult so far. Pretty easy, in fact. But we are going to get to a boss in just a little bit. And I bet you can imagine what type of enemy that boss is going to be. Let's use one of my special weapons here. Let's use the freeze. Oh, nope, push the flamethrower instead. But there's no enemies to shoot, there's one. The controls work really well, your character moves smoothly. The weapons work great. Has a satisfying feel to it. Again, pretty easy so far, especially with all these towers helping you out. But it does get more challenging. I skipped past the anime style cutscene. Not, not really so much anime, just sort of animated cutscenes, because the storyline really isn't super important to the game, and I wanted to get right to the gameplay, which most of you guys are interested in, more so than the storyline. And as you can see, the centipede is the boss character. And he does have a vulnerable spot there, the red, as you can see. Let's use the flamethrower on that bad boy. There you go. Mushrooms, of course, an homage to the original centipede. Like I said, the original centipede was my wife's favorite console and Arcade game, she likes the ColecoVision version of Centipede with the excellent trackball controller, the roller controller. All right, let's get serious here. Hitting with the machine gun. Boom, on to the next level. Nothing can stop me. That's right, nothing can stop you, Max. Unlock song packs, page of concept art, cool. Sewer trouble. Good thing you can't smell the game. Again, we're gonna skip past the animated cutscenes so we can just get to the gameplay. Loading time here. Terrible Jeopardy imitation there. 
slay all the bugs. And that's pretty much what you do each level. There are some missions in some of the later levels, you know, just some objectives to complete beyond killing the bugs, but that's basically what you do, is destroy all the bugs that are infestating the area. And like, you know, like I said, the stages aren't huge. But you do have a little mo room to move around. Now, I should mention I am playing the hard mode as opposed to normal, because normal is just way too easy. And if you beat the game and you kill all the bosses, you know, you complete the game, you do unlock an insane level of difficulty, which I really like. It gives you more life in the game. You know, if you beat the game on hard mode, what's left to do? And in this case, like in some other games, you can unlock an insane mode. That's pretty awesome. Sound effects, music, and graphics are nothing remarkable, but they're passable. They're not bad. Mostly it's about the gameplay, the Robotron-style gameplay with the dual control sticks. And I am using the classic controller for the Wii. Which was a must when I picked up Geometry Wars, another dual joystick game. I had to pick up the Wii Classic controller with that because it works great with the dual joysticks. And it works well with this game as well. Otherwise, you must use the nunchuck. In addition to shooting enemies, you can also stomp the ground. Now when several enemies come out, I will show you guys that. There we go, boss time. Stomping doesn't do a whole lot to the centipede there. Let's use some special weapons. Freeze, up. Oh, he went away. Sure to return. All right, let's get serious here. Use flamethrower. Wave, some kind of wave weapon there. Of course, if it's a centipede, you gotta have mushrooms. Centipede game. Unfortunately, there is no millipede infestation. That'd have been pretty cool if they would have created a sequel to this game. As many of you know, millipede is the sequel to centipede. Now we're in Garden Gallop, level three. And we're going to get some more load screens here. I will not attempt to mimic the Jeopardy, Jeopardy theme here for going to spare you guys that. And let's just get to some more gameplay. This game was originally going to be get created for the European market as well, but that version was canceled. And this game was published by Atari and developed by Way Forward. You can get in this little gun turret here and cannon-like thing and rotate and shoot. Not super necessary. And you do want to protect the female character there. Can't remember her name, it's Maisie or something like that. See her life bar there. She can get killed. You don't want that to happen. All right, let's stomp. You can stomp the enemies, see? Just put your foot down. There we go, let's stomp them. Stomp them good. Sort of pounds the ground, like a, maybe like in Donkey Kong Country, sort of. Ground pound. Works similar to the stomping. Centipede Infestation is a pretty common game to find. Not really expensive on the second-hand market. As you can see, the difficulty level has amped up a bit from earlier levels, which is nice. Little high speed action there. 
Uh oh. Damsel is definitely in distress. Now, there is a two player co op version of this game, which is really good. When the game gets difficult, definitely comes in handy to have a second player by your side. Absolutely. Just going solo today, though. My wife and son are at work. Otherwise, I just might have one of them join in. As you can see, I bit the dust there, but not going to give up. Going to carry on. Sorry, cutscene. You are cut. With newer consoles, you usually don't have to worry about a ton of load times, although there are exceptions. Alright, I'm going to try to do a little better job of this level of protecting the girl and not getting killed. The basic shooter in this game, as you can see, is fairly weak. It is called a pea shooter. And I'm going to get my machine gun there. The, regarding the original Centipede, I did play it back in the day, in 1981, when it was new in arcades. I was 14 years old at the time, and absolutely blown away by the awesome shooting action and the incremental way the mushrooms would disappear as you shot them, and you could use the mushrooms strategically to get the Centipede to come down the screen in a certain way, in a pathway where you could just blow them up shoot him in long succession as he comes straight down the screen. Different strategies for this game, obviously. Let's get rid of these guys, big boys. pound really comes in handy stomping the ground when there's a lot of bugs on the screen. Whoa, powerful bugs, a bunch of them at once. Freeze ray. Cool. All right guys, I am Almost dead again, as you can see, my lives are down to zero, extra lives, or zero in reserve, I should say. And I died once again. Okay, guys, I am going to try this level one more time and try to get, it, get through it for you guys. I could do the easier level, but it just wasn't much fun. I got to level six and just didn't encounter hardly any resistance at all. Getting a lot of resistance here, so but hopefully I can uh, make it through. If you guys are new to the channel, I hope you'll subscribe. I really appreciate it. I do gameplay, you know, in addition to gameplay videos, I do top 10s, talk a lot about Atari, ColecoVision, NES, tell stories about gaming back in the day, what it was like gaming in the early 80s when the industry was just still pretty new and really vibrant and exciting. Of course, the video game industry is still very exciting. Big console releases later this year. New iterations, that, you know, got the PlayStation 5 coming out. Got the Xbox Series 
coming out, Series X and Series S. Ridiculous names. Why couldn't they just go with, after the 360, just do the 720 and on and on? But whatever. I doubt I will upgrade. Currently, I have a Nintendo Switch, an Xbox 360, and my son has a PlayStation 4. And all those systems are keeping me plenty busy. I don't have any immediate need to upgrade. I am getting an, a, a, a Television Amico in the spring of next year. It's supposed to come out in October, but COVID and some other factors have interrupted that, obviously. Nice. Ground pounded a bunch of those suckers. Let's get in one of these bad boys. All right, maybe they'll help me against these big, there we go. Nice. And my lady love dies. Well, there you go, guys. Maybe I should have stuck with the easier difficulty level, but whatever the case, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for liking the video. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think of the original Centipede, and let me know if you played Centipede Infestation and what you thought of it. Thanks for watching. Thank you for liking. I will talk to you guys later. Peace out.